Jupiter and surrounding moons are actually pumping energy into Europa. And how does it do that? As Europa orbits Jupiter, its shape changes. On September 21st, 2023, NASA made two paper publications on shocking new discoveries about Jupiter's icy moon, Europa. These discoveries were the result of the analysis of the world's premier space science observatory, the James Webb Telescope's infrared spectroscopy of Europa. The discoveries made are not only groundbreaking for the study of Europa and Jupiter, but also for the solar system in general. What preempted this research? What was discovered? What made it possible? What is the significance of the study? Keep watching to find out. Jupiter's moon, Europa, also known as Jupiter 2, is one of the few bodies in the solar system that could potentially harbor conditions suitable for life. From previous studies, it has been discovered that beneath Europa's water, ice crust, lies a salty ocean of liquid water with a rocky seafloor. However, scientists have not confirmed whether the ocean contains the chemicals needed for life, particularly carbon, hence a need for further studies. According to NASA, six robotic spacecraft have explored Europa, but most of the discoveries made came from three of them. NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft, the Galileo Orbiter, and the Hubble Space Telescope. The Voyager 2 spacecraft provided the first images close enough to reveal that Europa's surface is crossed by ridges and cracks, and hinted that the icy moon may be geologically active today. NASA's Pioneer 10 and 11 spacecraft passed through the Jovian system in the early 1970s, providing only distant images of Europa. But they were still the first images of Europa taken by a spacecraft, and they helped scientists refine calculations of Europa's size and mass. In 1979, the twin Voyager spacecraft flew through the Jovian system, mapping the surfaces of the Galilean moons, Callisto, Europa, and Ganymede, and providing more precise measurements of the moon's sizes. Of the Galilean moons, Europa was the most poorly observed because of where it was in its orbit during the Voyager flybys. Still, images from Voyager 2 revealed a smooth surface marked with fracture-like linear features, fuzzy-looking mottled terrain, and relatively few craters, suggesting that something was resurfacing Europa's icy crust. A few scientists had previously speculated that Europa, as well as Ganymede and Callisto, could be hiding a liquid ocean beneath its surface ice, and the voyagers provided exciting hints that this might indeed be the case, paving the way for Galileo's later exploration. The Galileo mission provided even closer views of the moon and found the strongest evidence of an ocean there. The Galileo made 12 close passes of Europa, providing the most detailed surface images to date. The Hubble Space Telescope found intriguing evidence of plumes at Europa. The first detection of possible plumes at Europa made by the Hubble Space Telescope was in 2012. In 2018, Scientists revisited old Galileo data and found evidence Europa may be venting plumes of water vapor into space. These discoveries prepared further research on Jupiter's icy moon, Europa. Hey spacers, before we examine the research and see more images of Europa, take a moment to click the subscribe button and click the bell button to stay updated on new space content. And now, back to Europa. Jupiter's icy moon, Europa, has a subsurface ocean beneath a crust of water ice. According to NASA, solid carbon dioxide CO2 has previously been observed on its surface, but the source was unknown. Two teams analyzed infrared spectroscopy of Europa 
from the James Webb Space Telescope to investigate the CO2 source. Trumbo and Brown found that the CO2 is concentrated in a region with geology that indicates the transport of material to the surface from within the Moon. And they discuss the implications for the composition of Europa's internal ocean. Villanueva also identified an internal origin of the CO2 and measured its 12C, 13C isotope ratio. They searched for plumes of volatile material breaching the surface, but found a lower activity than earlier observations. Together, these studies demonstrate that there is a source of carbon within Europa, probably in its ocean. James Webb Telescope finds that on Europa's surface, carbon dioxide is most abundant in a region called Tara Regio, a geologically young area of generally resurfaced terrain known as chaos terrain. It shows that the surface ice has been disrupted and there has likely been an exchange of material between the subsurface ocean and the icy surface. Both teams identified the carbon dioxide using data from the integral field unit of Webb's Near Infrared Spectrograph NIR spec. This instrument mode provides spectra with a resolution of 200 by 200 miles or 320 by 320 kilometers on the surface of Europa, which has a diameter of 1,944 miles, allowing astronomers to determine where specific chemicals are located. In this pictorial evidence from the NASA ESR CSA James Webb Space Telescope. Four square panels appear in a horizontal strip. The first is a blue and white sphere against a black background, and the other three are the sphere with darker blue patches and two large white patches in the southern hemisphere. This graphic shows a map of Europa's surface with NIR cam, near infrared camera, on NASA's James Webb Space Telescope in the first panel and compositional maps derived from Webb's NIR spec, or IFU. Near Infrared Spectrograph's Integral Field Unit, data in the following three panels. In the compositional maps, the white pixels correspond to carbon dioxide in the large-scale region of disrupted chaos terrain, known as Terra Regio Center and Wright, with additional concentrations within portions of the chaos region Powys Regio left. The second and third panels show evidence of crystalline carbon dioxide, while the fourth panel indicates a complex and amorphous form of carbon dioxide. Geronimo Villanueva of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, lead author of one of two independent papers describing the findings by saying this. Analysis indicates that this carbon likely originated in the subsurface ocean and was not delivered by meteorites or other external sources. Moreover, it was deposited on a geologically recent timescale. This discovery has important implications for the potential habitability of Europa's ocean. On the other hand, Villanueva's team also looked for evidence of a plume of water vapor erupting from Europa's surface. Researchers using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope reported tentative detections of plumes in 2013, 2016 and 2017. However, finding definitive proof has been difficult. The new web data shows no evidence of plume activity which allowed Villanueva's team to set a strict upper limit on the rate of material potentially being ejected. The team stressed, however, that their non-detection does not rule out a plume. According to Hamel, there is always a possibility that these plumes are variable and that you can only see them at certain times. All we can say with 100% confidence is that we did not detect a plume at Europa when we made these observations with Webb. This study was carried out by the analysis of the images obtained from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, previously known as the Next Generation Space Telescope, 
The JWST is a space telescope designed to conduct infrared astronomy. Its high resolution and high sensitivity instruments allow it to view objects too old, distant or faint for the Hubble Space Telescope. Hence, the research conducted by the Hubble Space Telescope was continued by the more modern and advanced James Webb Space Telescope. The observation of carbon dioxide on Europa is a testament to the power and utility of the James Webb Space Telescope. According to Hamill, who leads the JWST's Cycle 1 guaranteed time observations of the solar system, the observations only took a few minutes of the observatory's time. This means that in a short time they were able to make great discoveries. It also gives a vital hint of all the possible and amazing solar system science that can be done with the JWST. Scientists have been aware for some time that oceans of water lie beneath the icy shell of Europa, but did not know if these oceans had the right chemistry to support life. Thus, the discovery of carbon, a vital element in living things from the subsurface ocean on one of Jupiter's moons, which has important implications for the potential habitability of the moon, is a testament to the groundbreaking science being made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope. Future missions include NASA's European Space Agency, ESA, Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer Juice Mission and the upcoming Europa Clipper. The Juice Mission will explore Jupiter and its three largest icy moons, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. The JWST findings from these two teams could help inform the investigation of Jupiter and its moons by the ESA JUICE mission. JUICE was launched in April 2023 on a seven and a half years journey to Europa and its fellow large Jovian satellites, Callisto and Ganymede, which both also bear vast oceans, as well as making important observations of Jupiter itself. NASA also plans to launch its Europa Clipper spacecraft which will perform dozens of close flybys of Europa to further investigate whether it could have conditions suitable for life in October 2024. Europa Clipper will be the first spacecraft designed to observe Europa exclusively and thoroughly. With the James Webb Space Telescope, more amazing discoveries will come to light about Jupiter too. And with the launch of JUICE, the possibility of discovering conditions suitable for life on Jupiter and its moons, or anywhere else in the solar system, will become clear. Are you excited about these discoveries? What do you think? Hey spacers, thank you for spacing out with us. If you enjoyed this and our other videos, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of new space content. Thank you for supporting our channel and see you next time.